Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonia and today's video is going to be a quick one. I just wanted to review a product called Max Clinic and I actually saw this on Instagram and I got suckered in. It looked too good to be true and I had to check it out for myself. I purchased it off of Amazon.com for $34.99 and it took a few days to get here because I believe it's coming from Korea. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to try this out just to be nosy and share it with you guys and see maybe if you guys have seen it, if you guys have tried it, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, I'm going to put this to the test and let's see how it goes. So the first thing you want to do is start off with clean skin. Make sure it's clean, no moisturizer, no anything on your skin. And then you're going to go ahead and bust this little baby out. It's pretty much like a deodorant stick and it comes with a little liner guy at the bottom and it shoots up from the top and it's pretty much like like a deodorant. It's really solid except for it's slick. Um, it's kind of greasy in my opinion, the way it feels on my skin. And I kind of rubbed it a few times to warm it up with the heat of my hands because it came really, really solid and um, kind of dry and it broke a little bit on however they pressed it into the actual mold. So next I'm just going to be applying this to my face and pretty much what they recommend is going upward on your face, anywhere that you have um, some fine lines or some wrinkle or some sagginess. So I like to concentrate on my um, frown area here. It just, it's just, un it's unavoidable. Anytime you smile, it's right in this little crease here. Some people have it more pro predominantly than others. Mine doesn't really bother me too much, but I do um, focus here when I moisturize at night. Also my crow's feet, and I've been noticing since I started here on YouTube, um, I do have some saggy sagginess or some drooping of my eyelids. My eyelids are so big, um, but I have noticed that there is some slight drooping, nothing too crazy that I feel like I have to go get um, surgery or injections or anything like that. I'm just kind of embracing the changes that my body has been making over the years. But yeah, I definitely noticed um, the drooping in my eyelid area. Um, and I just seen online to go up word with the stick and it just gives you lifting effects. So now that it's said and done, I do not recommend using this product with makeup. I just felt like it was way too thick. It'll probably ruin your beauty blender because it's so waxy and oily. And I just feel like, yeah, it would just completely ruin your beauty blender or any makeup applicator because it'd be kind of hard to wash that out of a tool. It does give you the lifting effects and it's because of the wax part of the product. 
it holds it. So wherever you, you're, wherever you drag it, it's gonna stay put, but eventually it'll give way and it'll start to crumble. I noticed that um, parts of the product were starting to almost like join forces and rub off, almost it kind of like the same, same effect where if you put lotion on like sweaty skin or dirty skin or dry, super dry legs, you have that little build up and you start to kind of almost roll the product off. That was starting to happen on my face. So I just don't see myself using this product on a daily basis because I'd be too scared that that's going to happen. And then um, and if it's doing it on its own, I can't imagine how it's going to look after putting on three other products on top of that, like your foundation, your concealer, your contour, your powder, your highlight, your blush, everything, it'll just stack up and kind of roll off your face. So I just didn't feel comfortable completing the look. I stopped at the foundation on the side of my face and it just, I can just see everything getting stuck to my skin because of the, the texture of the product. So I definitely wouldn't recommend it. Um, it looked awesome online. Uh, like I said, I was a sucker. I spent my 35 bucks on it. Well, hopefully I can just, you know, share my insight and my thoughts and my experience with you guys and maybe save you a couple of bucks, 35 bucks. If you guys have any products you'd like me to review for you guys, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and also subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!